In West Africa, millions of farmers are facing the effects of climate change. Insufficient and irregular rainfall, floods and soil degradation are weakening ecosystems, contributing to crop diseases and reduced yields, among the main causes of food insecurity. The World Meteorological Organization is empowering farmers to meet the challenges through innovative and practical Metagri and Metagri operational projects. Two schemes financed by Norway and Spain and enacted with the aid of the National Meteorological Services of 17 countries in West Africa. Conducted between 2008 and 2015, the Metagri projects provide targeted climate services to rural producers, including roving seminars, in a drive to make them less vulnerable to the vagaries of the climate and the weather. These education and training seminars provide the opportunity for dialogue between farmers and meteorological services and raise awareness about climate change and seasonable variability among rural producers. More than 350 seminars have been organized in seven years, benefiting more than 14,000 farmers in West Africa, who in turn spread the knowledge among their communities. Around 7,200 rain gauges have been distributed so that farmers can measure the quantity of rainfall in their villages and close to their farms. This simple tool is an unaffordable luxury for many farmers in Africa. The rain gauges help farmers to decide when and what kinds of seeds to plant, when to apply fertilizers or pesticides, and how to manage their livestock. Essentially, they can plan their activities on the basis of reliable rainfall information, which they provide themselves. On parle de agriculture intelligente face au climat et nous pensons que les services climatiques pourront jouer un rôle essentiel dans ce sens-là afin de pouvoir développer une agriculture intelligente face au climat. In September 2016, the villages of Genoi and Tangi in Gambia and Buafle in Côte d'Ivoire played host to three roving seminars. Two of these were organized by the Water Resources Department of Gambia and one by the National Meteorological Directorate of Côte d'Ivoire, SODEXAM. Each meeting brought together around 50 people, including farmers, livestock breeders and fishermen, all of whom are dependent on weather and climate. After attending these very practical courses, farmers are empowered to take better decisions. Surveys have shown that farmers who factor agro-meteorological information into their practical decisions enjoy substantial gains in yield and income. The use of climate information effectively reduces the replanting rate by 35% and bolsters crop yield by 20 to 25% on average compared to farmers who don't use agro-meteorological information, according to the surveys. Boubier Francis Bazier attended a roving seminar organized by the Burkina Faso General Directorate of Meteorology in 2013 and shared his experiences with his community in the village of Guandi. In subsistence farming in West Africa, women are often responsible for production and harvesting staples such as rice, corn, sorghum and black-eyed peas, foods that make up 90% of the diet of poor rural communities. By encouraging women to take part in the roving seminars, the WMO is seeking to improve women's contribution and access to food and nutrition security in West Africa. In Gambia, fishing accounts for 12% of GDP and provides the main source of protein. Initiatives by the National Meteorological Service have helped the fishing community to better anticipate weather and climate-related risks. Mr. Niger explains that on this phone number issued to him by the Gambia Meteorological Services, 
he can call up an agent at any time to find out sea conditions and share the information with other fishermen. Peaceful nights are in the offing, thanks to the marine code, adopted at a number of jetties, including Tangi. Some uh, landing sites, they have started using traffic light signals. They use white flag if the weather is very good, and uh, they use r uh, yellow flag if they have to be cautious at the sea, and uh, they use red flag, meaning they should not go for fishing. The weather is going to be terrible. Now we can see the accident at sea is reduced compared to before the advent of giving uh, such kind of information today. Metagri, informing and empowering farmers in West Africa with agroclimatic information, strengthening national meteorological services and mobilizing key players in rural development, contributing to sustainable development, climate resilience and better food and nutrition security. Mm -hmm.